Hey guys, it's Brother Rip Potts with Hope for Japan Ministries, and welcome to this week's edition of Pray for Japan. We're going to talk about the prefecture of Iwate. So Iwate has a population of 1,229,432 souls. And it has one city, according to the book, that um, has no churches whatsoever, 14 towns and villages without a church and without representation of the gospel from a church organization. And uh, our missionary ratio is still extremely high uh, in this northern region with one missionary to every 64,000 people. So just a couple facts about Iwate. It's actually the second largest landmass uh, prefecture in Japan, the first being Hokkaido. It's also been known to be called Japan's Tibet as a nickname. And along with that goes with the harsh uh, temperatures. When we think of Tibet, we think of mountains, we think of cold, we think of snow and ice. And Iwate is very similar. The book let me know that it has severe weather conditions with snow and ice. And along with that, the more we look into these northern regions, we've noticed that the further north we go, the worse the economy seems to get. And I believe that has a lot to do with that, the fact that not many people um, like to endure the cold. And so the working population is declining. And in general, the working population in Japan is declining because of the aging population. And as we go through this series, you guys will notice that the, the things that we have to pray about kind of mirror and lap over each other. And that's because Japan is only a 2% Christian nation. So a lot of the needs that we're looking at are churches and church planting and evangelizing and things that we can do to bring the gospel to the Japanese people. And especially these prefectures that have a very low ratio of churches and a very low ratio of missionary to soul ratio. So the first thing that we want to pray about today in Iwate is, again, we're going to pray for those churches that they live in a uh, declining population zone. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, Iwate has a declining population due to the harsh weather and uh, the work environment of, of the Iwate prefecture. So pray for those churches because when you are building a church in a zone where the population is declining or you have an existing church in a zone where the population is declining and in a country where your church attendance is normally 50 people or under, to see a declining population can be very discouraging to a pastor, a minister, a missionary. And let's just pray for the encouragement of those ministries, encouragement of those churches, of those leaders in ministry that they would stay strong and they would still have faith that they can still reach the population around them and impact them for the name of Jesus Christ. Iwate had no resident Protestant missionaries in recent years and has very few apostolic witness in the Iwate prefecture. So we want to pray for that witness and we want to pray for the Christians that are there that they would be strengthened and encouraged to take their faith out into the world around them and provide a way to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ in these areas that are not easily accessible and are not easily reached in the Iwate prefecture. The next thing we want to talk about is we want God's love to be seen. And a lot of these northern regions have a very low uh, church attendance ratio. They have a very low missionary to uh, soul ratio. We just want to pray that God's love will be shown to these people so that we can reach them for the sake of Jesus Christ. Lastly, we want to pray for several regions that have no churches or uh, regions that have only one church for three cities. The book mentioned that there is a region in the Awate that there is only one church to reach three cities. And that ratio is not good. If you are involved in church planning or evangelism or any of that type of ministry in your local church, you can understand that one church is not easy to reach a whole city, let alone three cities. So pray that churches would be established and pray that preaching points and those out kind of ministries would be established. And you will notice that in these, these prefectures that have a lower missionary concentration, a lower Christian concentration, a lot of the prayer requests are gonna be the same, to establish churches, to establish preaching points, to establish things that we can use to reach the Japanese people and reach the, the people of those prefectures. And that we just want the message of hope, the hope of Jesus Christ to get across to the people of Japan and the people of these prefectures. Thank you guys once again for joining us on our journey to Iwate and talking about the needs and the prayer request of the prefecture of Iwate. Next week, we're going to talk about Miyagi Prefecture. And the frequency of these videos is usually always been on Sundays. I've been releasing them 
but to follow along with the uh, Operation Japan prayer, uh, I will be releasing some in the middle of the week because that's how the uh, prayer guide follows along. So stay tuned and look for those. But I want to thank you guys for joining us on our prayer journey today in Iwate. And just remember to always pray for Japan and always pray for the missionaries and the needs and the labor that is going on in Japan. We need your help and your prayers in order to see the hope of Jesus Christ into the nation of Japan. Thank you and God bless.